All right, this is the Death of Art, reporting from the Lower East Side of New York City. We have in here a group show, which uh, is mostly local artists and a uh, distinct political theme, and it should be fascinating. This is completely outside of uh, any corporate mainstream anything. This is a pretty much anything goes type show, so let's have fun. Who are gonna say a poem about the theme of the show? which is a deconstruction about gentrification, neighborhoods, cultures, all kinds of ways gentrification comes into play. And we also have a performance by Jerry Bisco. She's dressed to impress, you don't want to miss this, all right? So without any further ado, um, I'm very pleased to introduce um, someone that I met recently at the day job. And here to perform her beautiful poem is uh, Monique. Hello everyone, my name is Holly, and I have a little something I prepared for you guys. Hope you like it. So the title of my poem is called, Now Ain't That Some Shit. If you were to go that way, that way lies the ghetto, or at least that's what they like to call it. But that ghetto, our ghetto, has so much potential. Oh, how they want it. So they lie and they steal and they cheat and they push and they push and they push to our barber shops and moms and pops and no more. So the faces playing on the block resemble those that jog from Central Park. So no longer is fear present because all of the houses and the heritage that were built by our bloody hands that we fought day in and day out for and no more. We can no longer afford them. To say the least, this saddens me. An absolute requiem of a dream a king once had. A catastrophe now, selling lands. We've been pushed out. Now ain't that some shit? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing an auction. So, so Stuart, what did you think? Wonderful. It's did that change your life? Short. It was short. I like that. Short and sweet. I like that. And the bidding starts at twenty dollars. It's very succinct. It's very muffled. I didn't understand a word. I like that. The muffled poem. Understated. Yes, abstract. Short, short and sweet. Here's next. Here's comes next. So my guess is Soul Thunder. So this is my guess. The other one. My poem doesn't actually have a title, so it is however you take it. Moved in for the sake of prosperity, on the table, microwavable ramen noodles soaked through the usual minority brew. Once upon a time, I'd say my mom, she, told tales of a land made of dreams. But now, they, them, we, can't really. Stories that talk like green eggs and ham, sharing is caring, oh, the places you'll go in a white man's land. All the parables, a man in question, black face till blue, pushing aside truth known only to common youth. Putting pots pressed, young faces not knowing the difference, little rascals to rug rats, the Jim Crows flying through Dumbo, the ass behind Pinocchio's nose. I came from this road, from railroad sweat to sweet gold, a home lies here that was once my own. No, we don't need a stick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of The Death of Art, and we are live. So we're here at the theater for the new city. This is my uh, co-author, Cyril. I'm still alive. I'm Stefan. And, uh, yeah, Cyril's still alive. Art is dead, um, we're still alive. The theater for the new city has something called the TNC Gallery, which uh, I guess is, stands for the Theater for the New City. When I initially Googled it, uh, something else comes up involving uh, Hustler Magazine. So I thought this would be a pornographic show, and um, I even called my, my our resident extra, expert in pornography, and uh, luckily she couldn't make it, um, because it's not a pornographic show, it's just a group art show. But anyway, we're here, and um, well, we found the bathrooms, so, the so the bathrooms basically the are downstairs, the and, uh, and so we're uh, off to the race. The uh, just, just the light in the stairway. For a second. Anyway, um, it's kind of loud, and um, but we're gonna try and do this show real quick and simple. 
We also found the bar. Rolling rocks are five bucks. But they'll feed you for free, so get this. In the old days, they'd get you drunk and feed you for free. Nowadays, they pretty much, at most, feed you and definitely do not get you drunk for free. So anyway, I walked through here earlier and there are a couple of interesting pieces. This is a neighborhood, uh, sort of left-wing, revolutionary, egg, you know, uh, not so revolutionary. But they do good work here. They do good theatrical productions. So the first one is this one. And uh, this has a political message. Warning all activities are reported. And it's sort of a theme which uh, blends in and out of this whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is your typical Lower East Side sort of art opening type thing. And, um, but I did have one piece that had like lots of sort of weirdos. I, I hope you can hear me. The, uh, it's the black one, right? Up Cyril, catch up. So anyway, let me make it through the crowd. Sorry. So a couple of pieces uh, struck us. Cyril, catch up! Um, this one has just a lot of energy. And I don't know how else to put it. Cyril, so yeah. this piece right here, it struck me, you didn't seem very impressed by it. That's all wrong. This is good. It's fine, it's fine. Excuse me. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's all, all I right. can say, really. We're right behind us. Now, you do a lot of painting on uh, yeah. signs and found art. It's too, uh, it's, it's fun. It's, it's too perfect, though. It's very slick. Who is this guy? It's the Flash. The Flash. What does he do? If you are a communist, left-wing, French piece of shit, you would know your comic book hero. Is he a capitalist? Of course he's a capitalist. He's what an kind of American superhero. And what, he Flash. makes money? A lot of money? I don't know what he No, do. no, no, no. He convinces you he does it. He shows his money. dick to children and then he runs off really quick. This is YouTube. You can't say that shit. Um, what is it? So what he does? It's the Flash. Yeah, what does he do? He runs he fast. Jump. I work. Ah. He runs very fast. Ah, okay. He runs and fast in the scene of the crime. And then what is he then? Why? He breaks records? What, what does he do? No, he, uh, he, he fights super villains. Ah, okay. So what is he on this side? Well, it's on the sun. Oh, he's fast. On his, okay, I get it. So I get, It works. I get it now. It takes a while. It takes a while to get it. You know, it's just complicated. I was going to say some rude right, words. Guys, I don't think it's we're any further along than we were five minutes ago, but yeah. anyway, let's move on. The guy with the fancy hair. He's got the fanciest hairstyle. Yeah, yeah. Or is that a record? Yeah. I didn't notice this one. Which one? So remember how I was seeing BD. Is this? Is that a reference to something that I don't know? BD. Bisexual. LGDB. BD. Okay, so. Um, well, maybe I, I'm, I'm probably just reaching. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Well, we actually have a train which is called B and D. Yeah, this is where I go. This is my neighborhood. Like this. So this is a photo, I guess? Yeah, look, 22nd and 10th Avenue, this mural is on. Yeah, I used to go there in the middle of the night after clubbing. Um, the Empire Diner. One from the left, man. Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Andy Warhol, Frida Kahlo, who else? Come on. Let's case and Keith. Yeah. I love the music. All right. So, the great thing about these uh, shows is there's always sort of a mix of like horrible, interesting, and anything goes. And that's why these shows should go on forever, basically. Forever. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens. This yeah. is what we're seeing. No, because, because basically you're going to get everything. You're going to get everything. Well, it's been a few hundred years actually, but whatever. No, what? Well, since modern art started, you know. This? Technically, this, this is 80. So here we have. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, there we are. So this is a 
This is a graffiti reference, which uh, I did. Um, my old New York, and I hear that, having grown up and written graffiti and been probably done millions of dollars of, of uh, property damage in my uh, graffiti art career, uh, I can totally relate to this. So I don't know if they actually made this or whether this is actually a product, but I want you to look at this whole thing. My camera work is kind of uh, sucks. I'm sorry about that, but... So again, we're in a neighborhood that um, is slowly losing its, um, its, authentic its authenticity, its artisticness. It's all the great things that made this neighborhood great. It was ah. a great, energetic, artistic background. And, uh, and so this is Stuart Gray, otherwise known as uh, Stu Spasm, otherwise known as Art Gray. Uh, he was in the uh, Lubricated Goat, which are basically like the Sex Pistols from Australia, but better. And um, and now he's in a great band called the Art Gray Noise Quintet. It's Quintet. I never quite, there's never five people inside of those, four, six, or something else. Okay, so, yeah, I know. Um, so anyway, we're trying to get through this show. Um, Hey, is that Olivia? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey, we're, I'm in the middle of shooting my YouTube. Uh, I, I started I'm a channel in art criticism. Oh, okay, fantastic. so anyway, great to see you, Olivia. You too, how are you doing? We'll almost wrap this up and then we'll talk. Okay. So, last but not least, here is this. Um, it's. Uh, the name of the show is Deconstruction. And uh, so here we go. And uh, this is a perfect fitting image for deconstruction. And of course the clientele and all that um, fit this as well. Um, more deconstruction. I guess, no, I was about to say this is the pit at, um, but it's not. It's just, uh, it's just some construction work. You're going to see the guy with the fanciest hair I've ever seen. Um, like kind of hiding plaits. Where is made it? Made into a, a beanie of hair. Is that he's down there somewhere? All right. He's like so, a blonde goddess of a man. Clearly, um, this episode of uh, the death of art will not be complete unless we see. What did you say it was? The, the greatest hair you've ever seen in your life. We must have spent all fucking day on it. All right, um, we're working our way through the crowd. So, I guess that's what, what this uh, great YouTube channel has been reduced to is looking for hair. Um, but I, I suppose you know. All right, so this is. Um, I saw somebody that looks like that. All right, so it seems like the guy with the hair is just. Disappeared. He's disappeared? I don't know. We've been. We go over there. Yeah, like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the death of art. We're still looking for hair. We'll check in later. Good night. I don't think